In this video traders, we're gonna look at some of the hot keys you can use on MT4, stay tuned. Hey guys, a very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me. All right, so hit the screens in a moment. I'm gonna show you some of the hot keys you can use to make your life a little bit easier on MT4. Now this video is sponsored by our channel sponsor, multi-regulated broker offering a huge variety of markets. And these guys uh, allow you to use MT4, which is a good thing. MT5 as well, if you prefer, but we know MT4 is super popular. And one of the things MT4 is they've got an awful lot of hot keys to make your life easier, to make your kind of just transitioning smoother between things, maximizing windows, all the other stuff. Anyway, what we'll do guys, we'll hit the screens uh, now and we'll check them out. I'm gonna show you some of the uh, best hotkeys I think that are on MT4. Um, before you go guys, make sure you do check out in the market for a broker, looking for a backup broker, looking for a primary broker, just getting into the markets, uh, want someone who offers MT4 because you like MT4, uh, they're definitely worth uh, checking out. Let's go check out some of those hotkeys. Hey traders, so I'm in an MT4 platform now within MT4, and I wanna show you some of the hotkeys that you can use to make your life a little bit easier when you're navigating around MT4. Super popular platform, um, one of the platform account. And of course, there's a link to these guys uh, in the description uh, below. Simple account opening process, multi-regulated, lots of good reasons to uh, go and check them out. So MT4. Let's have a look. Some of the hotkeys. Now, why do you want to use hotkeys? Which well, you know it's like sometimes you just want to get stuff done a little bit quicker. Sometimes you can't be bothered messing around, right clicking, multiple clicking. You want to make your life a little bit more efficient, a little bit more effective when you're navigating the platform with slick, um, you know, and ease. It just makes things more pleasant to do, doesn't it? If you're doing something re repetitively, you know, a hotkey just, you know, it just feels like you're just um, on the ball a little bit more. Now, it's not gonna make you a super successful trader overnight, but it just makes things a little bit more um, effective, a little bit more efficient when you're using MT4. All right, so let's have a go. Let's go straight into it. So I've got a, a pretty standard a chart up for you now, guys. I've just got an H1 chart of USD JPY with a Bollinger Band on. Uh, Control I opens my indicator list window. So here, if I had more indicators, I could edit and delete them from that with Control I. Um, I've also got the Control N opens my navigator window, which we've got down here. You can see uh, here, Control N just gets rid of that. Control T opens my terminal window, if you wanna look at your terminal window. And Control Y, one of my favorite ones, gives you the period separators. And Control G gets rid of your grid. I like the grid because it helps you frame the trade, but sometimes it can be a bit cluttered. So Control G gets rid of your grid. Control Y gives you a period separator, so you can see what's happened um, within each day. And it, it's, it's sometimes nice to have a nicer, clean chart up there. But very often, you know, to frame your trade, to give you risk reward ratios, to kind of feel what the rotations are in the market, to get a kind of clearer picture, a grid, uh, sometimes definitely helps, but it can be too much sometimes. So Control G uh, allows you to toggle that on or off. All right, so what else have we got? If we had an expert advisor up there, we can kind of use uh, F7 to open the properties. Um, F F11, one of my favorites, full screen. Sometimes it's nice just have a full screen. You know, any clutter, you've got no toolbars, you've got no navigator, you've got no market watch, just F11, just pure price and whatever indicators you've got on there. Okay, so plus and minus guys allows us to zoom back and forth. Very easy to do that. And um, what else have we got? We can also, I was talking about scrolling guys. If we go left and right on our cursor, um, we can just literally scroll back and forth like this and up or down goes a little bit further if we've got the scale set. Now, backspace, uh, well, actually, before we go to that, let me just carry on with the scrolling. There's another key, if you go to home, that takes you to the very first uh, price point, if you like, on your chart, and end takes you to the very end. Now, you might not use home so much, but you might use end because let's say you've scrolled back and you're analyzing something, let's say like non-farm payrolls or ECB or um, BOJ or something that's, that's come out before, you wanted to see how the price responded to it, you might be going back a month or so, looking how price responded to a news item, seeing the sort of pips move, seeing the order of magnitude of move, seeing how it behaved, and then you might wanna go to your far right chart um, to, to kind of go back to the current price. So it's a good little uh, hotkey that, and that's if you hit end, that takes you to the end of the chart. Right, so another thing we can do, if we've been drawing on our trend lines and we're going, okay, we've got our trend line, uh, we, oh, we don't wanna do it there. 
back space gets rid of it. So we put our trend line on or our support line or our resistance line, whatever we're doing, whatever drawing, backspace gets rid of it. I made a mistake, I didn't want to get rid of it. Alt backspace brings it back. So very easily, you know it's like you've drawn a trend line very accurately sitting there waiting for the, you know, trying to get it right. I need to delete it back. Accident. Well, alt backspace will bring it back and backspace just gets rid of it. Uh, pretty handy uh, shortcut that. All right, so some of the other things we've got, um, less, a bit more boring ones, but stuff like F2 opens your history center window, um, F3 opens your global variables window, F4 opens your meta editor, uh, F6 opens your tester window if you've got an F expert advisor attached to the chart. Uh, F8 chart properties, quite useful actually if you wanna just kind of flick between the color schemes. Okay, some of the other ones that are probably uh, more useful is if you do Alt and 1, you can flip between bars and candles. Alt 2, if you hold down alternate and then click 2, gives you candles. Alt 1 gives you bars. And then if you want to go lines, you can do 3. I quite like flicking actually between bars and candles sometimes. You can get a little bit... I like candles. I think they're my predominant thing personally to look at. But I also like bars because... Uh, then you kind of remove the feel of it's an up or down day, so to speak, and it's cut, you know, you're getting that perception of up or down day. Um, because very often it's more, more to do with what price has been tested as opposed to what's been done for an arbitrary open and close. Uh, part, uh, Alt F4 closes MT4 if you want to close it quickly, but that does literally just close it. Um, what else have we got? Uh, you can do things like, oh, another one that's nice, guys, is you can enable the crosshair with a, a Control F. So if you want to have the crosshair and do some analysis on that and kind of see what's going on, uh, you can do that. That's pretty handy. Um, we've got other things like a Control H, would take it just totals that open, high, low, close section at the top there. If you want to have that or on or off, a Control W close the chart window. Uh, I'm not going to uh, do that. So this is kind of the main things, guys. There are others out there. There's, there's loads of different shortcuts, but. I just want to cover the main ones in this video. Uh, you know, I especially like the grid one. I especially like, you know, being able to put on the uh, periods and especially being able to scroll back and things like that. So hopefully those help you out, guys. If you want to check out our channel sponsor, then please do it below. They'll get you set up uh, with MT4. And so you can kind of get used to the platform, get navigating around and become a little bit of a whiz with all your hotkeys and find out the hotkey that makes you a little bit more effective uh, in your navigation of the trading platform. Platform. Take care, keep the risk managed. See you soon. Bye bye.